Weather Authority meteorologist Janice Harris, we are taking a look at the tropics and specifically tracking tropical storm Aaron. First, take a look at the advisory came out at 11 a.m. And the current location of tropical storm Aaron is at 17.4 north, 28.0 west. It's currently moving west at 20 miles per hour. The pressure is at 1,004 millibars and the winds are at 45 miles per hour with gusts at 60 miles per hour. So let's take a look at this track as it's essentially moving west as a tropical storm will likely become a hurricane as we get to the midpoint of the week as a category one hurricane shifting to becoming a category two hurricane, but could potentially become a category three hurricane uh, before this entire process is over. So as we see right here on Friday, it would still be a category two hurricane, but this is the area to pay close attention as it's shifting past the lesser Antilles is the hope. And as it continues to make that shift headed in the Northwest direction, where is it headed from there? Now, this is when it becomes a question because some of the long-term models are not agreeing on exactly where this system could potentially go. But let's take a look here closer as we look at overall when it becomes a Category 3 over the weekend and approaching and making that shift out of west into a northwest direction. And that's the big question as to where it's going to go. So let's take a look at the GFS and the Euro model in comparison. We're looking right now at today, Monday, August 11th, but let's pay attention to where we see this system. You'll see it right there along the path as, as it's moving as it's moving west, take a look closely. You see the rotation of it. And right now you're seeing an agreement of the blue and the yellow, which is the Euro and the GFS models long term. Now we're looking at Thursday, August 14th. And at this point, again, remember, it's going to shift into being a Category 1, then a Category 2, and a Category 3 hurricane. At this point, according to the models, it should be shifting from being a Category 2 to a Category 3 hurricane just north, northeast of Puerto Rico and has essentially missed the Lesser Antilles area. So as we continue, this is the break that everyone's going to be watching to see where this system will shift. As you see the Euro in the yellow, has it going in more of a north, northwest direction? But for the GFS model, it is suggesting it will then begin to go north directly towards and into Bermuda. So the long-term models are showing something completely different once we get past that point of about August 13th and 15th. So let's take a look at it again. You see this path initially shifting west and then becoming a Category 1 hurricane by Wednesday. So just in a couple of days, then shifting into a Category 2 as it begins to turn more northwest by Friday. Then by the weekend, enhancing to a Category 3, and this is when it becomes questionable as to what direction Tropical Storm Aaron is going to take. Will it be more west, northwest, or will it shift north? So let's look again at the GFS versus the Euro model. This is on August 13th, Wednesday, continues moving west. Now we're shifting from the 14th, 15th, 15th, 16th, Saturday. And this is again where I was talking about it becoming a Category 3 hurricane. And now let's take a look at this shift, the 17th, 18th, 19th. So between the 17th and the 19th of the current long-term models that we're looking at for the GFS and for the Euro is where it becomes questionable. Now, typically any forecast is valid within the first two days, 48 hours. So as we track this, we slowly make steps toward the direction of accuracy. But at this point, we do know for a fact it will likely become a a hurricane, a category one hurricane within the next 24 to 48 hours, likely based upon its slow, uh, slow intensification that is occurring, but rapid intensification is possible toward the latter half of this storm. So this is what we're dealing with right now. We do know it's going to, it's, it, what we do know is it's going to continue moving west, but the question, once it gets closer to the area near Puerto Rico, is it going to then shift north directly towards Bermuda, or will it continue more on a northwest track? Now, in the month of August, keep in mind, it's essentially moving along a path that is very common based upon, based upon the data that we have historically for where hurricanes will form in the month of August. We already saw 
earlier this month, there was one that formed right off the coast in that subtropical, non-tropical zone, didn't have any pack, any impact on anyone. But now, as we're taking a look at Tropical Storm Aaron, you can see how it is very similar to that central Atlantic track that is taken in the orange, moving west and then starting to shift as it gets a little bit past the area of Puerto Rico uh, and the Dominican Republic and then heading north. So that is the track that it appears to be moving on at this point. Of course, we'll continue monitoring this and we'll receive updates throughout the day from the National Hurricane Center. But Tropical Storm Aaron will likely become a Category 1 hurricane by Wednesday.